Good morning, guys. We are in the bathroom today doing some bathroom cleaning because today is bathroom day, which is super exciting, right? We get to clean the bathrooms. So fun. So I'm going to show you a super quick trick to managing your bath towels. It's nothing fancy. You're not going to spend any money. It's not going to be anything crazy. I'm going to show you a quick trick. We're also just going to do some cleaning in the bathroom. I am using the home planner from Passionate Penny Pincher. Oh, I see somebody on. If you would say good morning to me, if you hop on, I would love to see who you are. Um, we are going to just go through the stuff we have to do on Wednesdays, which will be super exciting and fun. And I'm hoping the video is working. It looks like it is. So I'm going to go through and clean. Then we'll do the bathroom clean up it'll take it'll be super fast i promise and i'm just going to show you some tips on how to manage your bathroom if you feel a little bit overwhelmed with all you're doing this is going to make it easier okay so here we go guys we're going to start with cleaning the bathroom first because if you look at the checklist the very first thing you have on um is to do your morning stuff so i've got my morning stuff written down tracy yandel you're the first person this morning tracy i'm going to send you out a packet of new testament Bible planners. Um, if you have them already, you can give them to somebody. Uh, Tracy Yandel, send me an email, shop at passionatepennypincher.com. I'm going to write down your name. Send an email to shop at passionatepennypincher.com and we will be watching for your email to get a fun little freebie. Okay, you guys, let's do the bathrooms. So the first thing we're going to do on our checklist, I'm showing y'all the good notes version that you can still get. This one is available if you don't have the Passionate Penny Pincher home planner and need some help getting your life organized. This will help, it also comes as a PDF file. But on Wednesdays, let's go to Wednesday. It is Wednesday, March 10th. We're gonna clean the bathrooms, change bathroom towels and bathrooms, and restock toilet paper and read loop four. So let's get started. We're gonna do the bathroom first, um, and then we're gonna hop down to this house. I, my mirror has been horrible all week, and I should have done it long ago because I got something. I must have been doing something crazy, and it got all over the place. So I'm starting with just doing a good cleaning of this. It's disgusting, and I hate doing this when y'all are to my back. That's just weird. So I'm gonna get that done. Then I'm gonna go ahead, and if you're watching, don't you dare just be watching. Like, join me and do this. If I'm suffering here, you should be cleaning. We are lucky enough to have houses where we have bathrooms that have running water, and we have um, sinks, and we have all the things we need. So we need to hop in and like be thankful for what we have and take good care of what we have each day. So it is a gift to get to clean a bathroom. It is not a curse. I know it feels like it is kind of awful some days, but when you finish, how many of you guys finish up? Tell me when you finish up doing your bathroom, how awesome do you feel? Does it feel amazing to you like it does to me? It feels amazing to me when I do it. The next thing we're gonna do is guys, we're gonna go ahead and go do the toilets. Black, my favorite toilet bowl cleaner is this Lysol Blue. It's just a fantastic toilet bowl cleaner. I highly recommend it because it smells good. I'm gonna walk in there and just get the toilet swished real fast so that y'all, and then we'll come in there and get finished up in a second. Okay, so we're gonna do our bathrooms, but the next big thing, remember each week in the Passion and Penny Pincher Home Planner, one of the things you're gonna do is have a big project. So my big project for the week is to organize the bath towels. Let me show you the smartest trick ever to organizing your bathroom towels. Are you ready? Come on down here with me, guys. I feel like y'all are right up close. This is kind of creepy to have, I feel like y'all are right in my stuff this morning, but whatever. Okay, so the bath towel organization. Here is where we keep our bath towels. I've not done anything yet, but I'm gonna tell you my super big trick, and you're gonna be like, Laurie, really? That's all you got for me? Have fewer towels. So here we go. These are all the towels. I used to have, how many of you guys are frugal folks and you used to keep 9 million towels because you felt like you needed to keep 9 million towels? I did the same thing because when I would get a towel, it was like, we've worked hard for this money to get a towel, so I need to keep every single one and I need to have 4,000 towels. I finally realized that I have four people who live at home right now. I've had up to five, my one kiddo's in college. I do not need 40 towels for five people. I need like maybe for four, I would say maybe you need, how many towels per person? I think maybe you need three towels per person. So in this bathroom, it's my husband and I that use this bathroom. So one, two, three, four, five, six towels. That's all the towels we need. And we actually have two more that hang. 
So having fewer towels makes life just a little bit easier. I will tell you that my husband and girls are great about doing laundry and horrid about putting it away. So when they put it away, you can see they just kind of slow it all in there. So they stuff everything in. So I'm just gonna fluff it up. Y'all, that's all it took. I just tidied the bathroom towel. So that one is done and I can mark it off my list. Again, there's my list. I'm just gonna mark it right there. I still am learning how to use this thing, you guys. There we go, I organized it. So super easy, all done on my list. Really, really fun to have it done that easy. The next thing that I need to do over here though, so I need to finish cleaning the bathrooms and change towels in the bathrooms, restock toilet paper. So let's go over to the toilet paper. How many of y'all have a, where do you keep, where do they keep the toilet paper in your house? Guys, tell me where y'all keep them. Towels under the bathroom sink, no way would you put it in there. That's where we've always kept them and I'll tell you why. This is where my husband's mom kept them. I don't know why that's where she kept them, but it's worked now for years for us. So I know some people um, may not like this, but this is a great one. I, yeah, I think you'll like it. I, For us, it's worked. Um, and what's kind of nice is it's, I don't know. I've had other things like I've kept, it's the easiest thing I can say to keep underneath the sinks because it doesn't get real grody. Now, let's come on over here. This is something that I've been meaning to do forever, so y'all are just gonna come join me. I'm gonna tell you this is not the cleanest area of our house. We're most organized, but it is fine. My friend, Lori, is an organizer, and she has a tip for you guys that I am actually doing today. I didn't do it before. She said when you get things like this, like actually take them out of the containers, and that way you don't end up with a wadded mess on the bottom somewhere in your house. So I have had these sitting here in their Charmin things for months. I do always like to keep one in its bag because a lot of times if we end up with too much toilet paper and we see a need where somebody says, if you see, have you ever seen like on Facebook, somebody will say some certain specific um, agency needs to, is low on toilet paper. I always try to keep a batch in a container so that I can donate it whenever I see a need for that. But having them already taken out so I don't have all this extra trash in the bottom, it's so silly and it takes like three minutes, but it's like a little gift to yourself of just one less thing you have to fool with each day. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. I'll get rid of, I don't have much room there. I'm gonna actually go ahead and put these throughout the rest of the house. The other thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll restock the toilet paper in all the bathrooms in our house. So we've got um, of other bathrooms and I will go restock those toilet paper. I'm actually gonna use these in my girls. This is terrible. I don't like this toilet paper as much as I like the Charmin. So I'm gonna run and do that. Can you use this planner on your phone? You can't use it on your phone. Um, well, it would be really small. It might work in GoodNotes on your phone, but yeah. It may not work as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up doing my bathroom. I'm gonna go in there and do my toilet. I just encourage you, if you are struggling, I don't really want y'all to sit here and watch me do my toilet. That's where it's at. There we go. I'm gonna clean my toilet without y'all, if that's okay. I just encourage you to think of little ways you can kind of gift yourself with an easier day. If you're feeling like overwhelmed, um, doing things in a process means that I'm not gonna run to the bathroom and not have any, um, I won't run to the bathroom and be out of toilet paper. Have any of y'all hearts or likes if you love the idea of going to the bathroom and having enough toilet paper? It takes such little time, it makes it so easy. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna check off the other things that I've done on my list this morning. And I'll answer any questions. This saved you one time, didn't realize there was a leak, but you noticed it was in the towels and the towels were soaked. It is kind of nice because if you did have a leak underneath your sink, they would totally be safe. So yeah, that is nice. Okay, so the things that I have done this morning, I'll show y'all on the on the planner is I have, it's Wednesday morning, I exercised, showered, made beds, started laundry, plan prep dinner. I gotta actually I gotta go plan prep dinner. I gotta go pull some stuff out of the freezer. Wash, put away. I'm on the wrong side. No, I'm not. Wash, put away laundry, clean bathroom sinks, clean kitchen counters, wipe down kitchen sink, tidy main living space. That's it. So we're good to go. Guys, I encourage you, Take a few seconds to catch up on your things in your house. You can get the planner. Um, we'll put a link in the video for the planner. It should be pinned. You want my shirt. I do like this shirt. A friend of mine gave it to me and I think it's so happy. I love it. Um, you have shelves in your closet that are in your using closet. You rolled it up. You agree, fewer towels. Y'all just have less. When you have less things, it is easier to manage what you have. So I just encourage you with the towels, 
just have fewer towels. Um, do have what you need, but you don't need everything. You keep the TP on a shelf in the living closet. I keep it on the floor. Where can you get the awesome checklist? Click the link. We'll put a link for it in the thing. Exercise routine, morning routine. Yes, those are the things I do every single morning. So my morning pretty much before I start at work, which work for me is hanging out with you guys. So I'm kind of lucky in that because I can clean my toilets even though obviously I didn't totally do the cleaning to this morning. Um, but yeah, so before I do everything, I do my morning checklist. Um, it's super easy. I just encourage you, take time to take care of your home and your family and your finances. Having less will help you. If you need a great planner system, this one is available only on PDF and GoodNotes now. We are sold out of the physical planner. If you have the physical planner and trusted us with that this year, I am so crazy thankful for you. I am so thankful for you. Clean the bathroom the same way. You keep towels under the sink and TP wrap, paper wrap under too. I love that. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Like, yeah. You're always getting new stuff. How do you deal with it all? It looks like you have way more storage than me. I do have a good bit of storage, so it definitely helps to have some storage for sure. I get stuff and I try to get rid of it as fast as I can. So if I order something or buy something, every something else always goes out when I get something. So yeah, I try to keep moderate, keep take to keep it in check. You have baskets in your linen closet for towels. I love that. Lots of people roll their towels. That's a great idea if that works for you. My family is not gonna, my family has folded towels the same way. My husband for almost 50 years, the man is not gonna switch the way he folds towels, so I make it work for us. Um, don't forget to lay out dinner, I will do that for sure. Hi Kelly, glad to see you. You keep toilet paper on a stand next to the toilet. Great idea, you have the same towels underneath your sink. Great idea. You guys have an amazing day. I am so crazy thankful. Go, tidy up your towels. It'll feel so good and it'll take you like five minutes and you'll feel awesome about your day. Have an awesome day, we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.